Well, today I've got a real nice pattern to show you. It's called the Olive Compare Dun. Now this fly imitates mayfly duns, and by just varying the size and color, you can imitate something as small as a blueing olive to as large as a green drake. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie this fly. For the hook, we're going to use a size 18 TMC 100 dry fly hook. We'll use some 8 dot olive thread to tie. For the wing, we'll use some short, fine deer hair, some moose mane tips for the tail, and some olive CDC fibers for the body and head. So we're going to start off by tying on a nice base of thread onto our hook, and tie that back and lay that down. That helps the, to stop the wing and the tail from slipping. So what I've done is stack some deer hair. And I've got my real short, fine deer hair. I'm going to measure it up the length of the hook and then move that forward to get my wing size. And then I'm just going to dig a few loose wraps and then tighten it up and tie back. And what we're going to do with this wing is I'll show you a little trick in the next stage. But we'll just make sure we get this all nice and secured down first. Now that I have the wing tied in, it's all pointed forward. You'll notice your deer hair all points forward. The little trick is to pull back about a third of your deer hair and take a couple of wraps around that deer hair again and just progress up. Take another third of your deer hair, take a couple of wraps around it and take your final little bit of deer hair and take some more wraps around that. This way that'll keep that deer hair standing up real nice for you. Now what I've done is taken about four or five moose mane tips and just the very tips. And I'm going to tie them in for the tail. You don't want too many tips at the back because the, the tails of these mayflies are quite delicate, quite small. And tie those in at the back for the tail. Now that I have my wing tied in paradun style and I've got my little moose mane tail on, we're going to cut up a bunch of CDC fibers. Now you don't want to use the stem from the CDC, you just want to take that, that one fiber and cut off all the little, little barbulates or little fibers off that CDC feather into a tray and then we're going to dub it on the wing. So I'm just going to grab my CDC and start trimming fibers. Now that I have all the CDC feathers cut, I'm going to just take a little pinch in between my fingers, just like dubbing any other material, and start rolling it on and build up a nice dub body. And keep rolling it onto your thread until you get a nice, a nice bit of dubbing on there so using the CDC fiber. And then what we're going to do is start making the body. The CDC is wrapped onto the thread. I'm just going to rotate this around the body now, around the hook, to form the body. When I hit the wings, I'm going to pull that wing back and go in front of the wing and form a nice head right on the top of the fly. And what we'll do is tie off with our whip finisher. Just trim off the Trim off the residual CDC, anything that's sticking out a little too much. And there you have it, the finished olive compare done. You know, we've tied this fly in a size 18 and 20 to mimic all the small little blueing olives coming off on the Kettle River today. All you have to do with this fly is vary that size and color to match the hatches in your area.